Want to boost your sales on Amazon? It all comes down to one word, visibility. The higher your products rank in Amazon search results, the more sales you'll generate. But how do you find those winning keywords? That's where Sarab's keyword tool comes in. Hello everyone, I'm Ankita Patel, Product Evangelist at Celerap and today I'm going to walk you through Celerap's powerful keyword tool. Let's get started. Log in to the Celerap dashboard. I've added the link in the description below. On the Celerap platform, navigate to the keyword tool. Under this, we have two sub features. Let's look into each one of them in detail. First up is keyword research. It provides keyword opportunities that will boost your listings. Just enter any keyword relevant to your product. Since home decor is a sought after category, let's take table as an example here. And voila, you'll see the search results right in front of your screen. On the left, you'll find the relevant keywords and their associated tags, giving you insights into the current Amazon trends. And on the right, we have all the metrics you need to evaluate these keywords and see if they are fit for your products. Now let's look into these metrics one by one. First is tags. With tags, you can effortlessly segment and filter your keywords. By creating personalized tags, you can easily categorize and organize your keyword data, making it a breeze to navigate and analyze. Tags is a relatively new feature that we have introduced for our sellers to make your data management easier. Click on the card above to dive into the details and unlock the full potential of this intriguing feature. Next is match type. It's the match type of the keyword with the entered keyword. Match types can be broad, extended broad, phrase, identical phrase, and exact match type. Use these match types to fine tune your ad campaigns and listings based on your unique selling strategies. Next is relevance. Now it shows how closely the keyword aligns with the given keyword. We measure relevance on a scale of very high, high, moderate, and low. The higher the relevance score, the greater the chance of ranking on Amazon and capturing those valuable customers. Next is search volume. It represents the estimated number of searches for a specific keyword on Amazon in an average business month. Think of it this way. If a user searches for a keyword and goes through three pages, the counts as four searches. Our search volume data is taken from the previous month and we update it at the beginning of each new month. Higher search volumes often indicate a stronger demand for the product, so keep an eye out for those promising keywords. Next is CPC or cost per click. It is the average estimated cost you'll pay for each click on an ad related to the keyword. Even if you don't have any active PPC campaigns, CPC can give you insights into the competition level for each keyword. A higher CPC suggests more competition while a lower one indicates less competition. Next we have is estimated orders per month. This represents the average number of units sold in an average business month after a customer searches for the keyword on Amazon. For instance, if someone searches for a pencil box and ends up ordering one pencil box, two pencils and one notebook, the total number of orders for the keyword would be four. Next is conversion rate. It's a vital metric calculated by dividing the monthly search volume by the estimated orders per month. Now this rate reflects how effective a keyword is in driving conversions. For example, if the keyword watercolors has 1 million searches and 10,000 orders in a month, its conversion rate would be 1%. Keep in mind that the more relevant your product is to the keyword, the higher the conversion rate. Based on these key metrics, you can actually evaluate which of these keywords are performing well. Select them and go to track keywords you'll be directed towards keyword tracking under product intelligence feature where you can actually analyze the keywords for a specific period of time. If you feel they are consistently performing well, then you can add them to your advertising. Also, if you want to segregate the keywords, say for example, 
high converting keywords, you can do so by adding them to high converting keyword tag. Now this lets you prioritize your keyword optimization and advertising strategies for these high potential keywords. Apart from them, you can copy and export the data for your further analysis. Now, I have been interacting with many Amazon sellers lately and they often face this challenge that whenever a customer searches for a keyword relevant to their product, the competitor's listings appear to be at the top. And this is kind of frustrating because after putting in so many efforts, your competitors are ranking at the top of the Amazon serves. Now imagine how cool would it be if we could actually understand the competitor keyword strategies and accordingly imbibe them into our listings? Interesting, right? And that is where the reverse ASIN feature comes into play. Here you can actually compare your ASIN with your competitor's ASIN. I have added two ASINs and now click on compare. The best part about this tool is at a time you can compare your ASIN with three other competitors' ASINs. You'll see that the search results are already displayed on the screen. On the left, you'll find the keywords that are present in both your ASIN as well as your competitors' ASIN. And on the right, we have metrics to evaluate these keywords. Let's take an example. This search term has impressive estimated orders per month and a high conversion rate. Interestingly, it's present in your competitor's ASIN, but not in yours. This could be that golden keyword that's propelling them to the top of the search engine results page. You can directly add them to your advertising, or if you want to, you can track the keywords where you'll be directed towards keyword tracking under product intelligence feature. There, you can analyze them for a specific period of time and if they are worth it, then you can add them to your advertising. On top of that, here's a neat trick. You can dig deeper into the market share of specific keywords by using tags to group products that dominate those keywords. You can tap into the brand analytics or search query reports to identify these power players. Simply create a tag called keyword market share and add those keywords to your tag to have a clear view of the competition. Now with this valuable insight, you can fine tune your strategies and make the necessary adjustments to stay ahead in the game. It's all about gaining that competitive edge and maximizing your chances of success. This is how convenient this tool is to use. Within a few clicks, you can understand the keyword strategies your competitors are using and accordingly use them into your listings and ads. Well, the Seller App Keyword Tool is a game changer for Amazon sellers. It empowers you with the insights and data you need to optimize your product listings and stay ahead of the competition. By leveraging the power of keywords, you can actually increase your visibility, attract more customers, and ultimately drive sales. So why wait? Start exploring the Seller App's Keyword Tool today and watch your business soar to new heights. If you have any questions or concerns, leave a comment and we'll be happy to answer your questions. That's it for this video, everyone. Thanks for watching. Your support means a lot to us. It encourages us to bring out more helpful videos like this. If you found this video helpful, please like, share and subscribe to Sellera. Let us know if you guys want us to create detailed seller guides on any specific topics. You can leave your suggestions in the comment section below and we'll definitely create them for you. And don't forget to follow us on our social media channels for more helpful content. If you haven't already, click the bell icon so that you will never miss another video. And as always, happy selling!